This is my review of the TMC full face mask. I uh, purchased this on eBay. Um, this was purchased from Hong Kong. It took about two weeks to get to the house. It was worth the wait. I did have the older version, which is the version 2, which uh, covered the nose, the ears, and most of all, your lips and your teeth. Uh, as you can see from this mask here, this mask here covers the full entire face, but what it does lack is ear protection. I'm going to make some little 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 flaps off to the side with a little bit of neoprene and this way my ears won't get hit and then therefore I'll have full protection. I do recommend wearing sunglasses underneath uh, for the purpose of if they're shooting BBs at you and then you might get some fragments and you don't want them getting into your eyes. So other than that, that would be it. And the view out of it, it's more like looking through a screen door. Uh, something to get used to, but I have a feeling once you do get it and you do get used to it, you'll have no problem. Uh, breathing, you don't have to worry about nothing getting fogged up. Uh, you can take the chance of not wearing glasses, but it, that's totally up to you. Um, I, I wear them and they don't fog up because of the airflow that actually comes through the mask. So other than that, I'll give you a little close-up or a little close-up view. You see it straps around goes to the back. Again, no ear protection. And what's nice about this is when you're cheeking your stock, you can look right down the sights and not have any interference of almost like not having a mask on at all. But what I found out with the other mask, the ear protection sort of kind of got in the way. It sort of sort of hindered it a little, you know, it was a little more, a little more bulkier here. Uh, the mesh is, is flexible to a degree. It is, it is pretty stiff. So, you know, you're able to mold it a little bit better to your, to different types of uh, contoured faces. But uh, mine, I just had to stretch it out just a little bit so it would fit and not actually touch my nose. And, and other than that, that's pretty much all I had to do. I did do a test of fire on it, and I'll show you the distance. The distance was right about here. And this is my KWA SR10, and it's shooting about 396. And from that distance, I'll get a close up. What you're going to notice is nothing. No dents, no scratches, no nothing. Um, I pumped probably around 15, 20 shots into it, and still, it's like when I took it out of the box. Definitely worth the money. I'll put the link right here. And, uh, you know, give it a shot. For the money, you can't beat it. So, again, shoot them between the eyes. See ya.